Gentlemen, start your engines! Woo! Let's get ready to rumble! Bum, 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 What's up, guys? Bum. We are at Daytona here for the vintage Supercross race. We've got Andrew Baccarosa and Kenny Jr. ready to send it. What's happening, boys? Yeah, today's uh, going to be the start of the legacy. We're going to, um, the staff guys at the museum, we're going to start stacking the AMA championships. So we're going to start here at the vintage level. What are you racing today? We got the 73 Mako MC 400. How how did it feel? Now this is the one you just got out of the, from the pick uh, from from Pinsonal, That's from right. five time national champion Paul Pinsonal. Yeah, so, so Billy and, uh, Billy and I did a lot of testing this week. We have the car off of uh, Pinsonal's um, 88 CR 250. So we got a key in fitted, uh, some modern bars um, and some Olins. Other than that, the bike's pretty much stock. Um, key and carb, uh, Renthal bars, brand new set of Olin shocks, and some nice Michelin tires. It looks really good, Kenny. How, how'd it run? Yeah, it, it ran good. The, uh, yeah, no complaints on the Mako. Uh, we, we got a blown fork seal on the way down, but we're going to make do. Um, every, everything feels good. Hey, Billy, how'd Junior look on, on the Mako? Fantastic, man. Smooth as glass. You know, uh, not a hair out of place. Really awesome. good. Yeah. <laughs> they performed very well. You know, all we lost, the only thing that fell off was the, the air, in, the um, vent for the gas cap. The bike sounded good? It sounded great. Awesome, awesome. How do you like it? Good. Hey, stayed in one piece, so, and uh, we know, you know, we've got to stop very close to where it needs to be. So. How about the 500? Now we're really talking. This is uh, this is the one that we gave Junior for his 20th birthday present. Uh, we gave him that cylinder right there to start, and uh, we did a frame up and built the, what I think is one of the nicest 89 CRs on the planet. It's got a nice fresh Hoosier tire on there, brand new Olin PFP shock on the back, Olin Sporks. How'd this, how'd, this, how'd this thing handle? It's good. It's it's uh, it's not sprung right right now, but... Is it, too, gonna... is it too stiff? Yeah. I think, you know, you might yeah. have to break the shock in because it's brand new. Yeah, I think, uh, I, you know, there's just not much time for testing. I haven't ridden this bike on a track yet. So we went out there at three laps of practice, and we're going to go excited in the race. So. How, how'd, how'd the motor run? Uh, it's a little rich. It's, it's a little rich. I don't, I don't, we don't have uh, jets with us. Um, and uh, limited tools for trackside stuff, but we're gonna make do here, guys. And uh, I got a good feeling about today. So excellent. You felt good, comfortable on it? Yeah, man. Cool, Andrew. Andrew Bacaros is here from Connecticut. Also, uh, what class are you running today, Andrew? All right, I think we're doing the 125 support. We're gonna do Revolution Open, and then Revolution 125. What, what's this bike right here? So we got an 05 CR 125 on it. It's the same, the same thing as the two brand new ones we got in the museum. We have two old three. Yeah, yep, same frame. How do, how do you like it? Um, it's not as fast as my Yamaha, but it's a great bike. It is good. Um, you normally run a 250F, right, uh, in the yeah, Nationals? Yeah, I normally run a Wise 250F, so yeah, it's AMA a AMA Nationals. It's a little bit slower, but I still have a great time on it. So it you should, you should probably smoke these guys here today. <laughs> we'll, we'll get some good footage out front, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Well, good luck out there, Andrew. Thanks, buddy. So, Billy, what can we do about the suspension on Junior's bike? We're just going to back off the clickers <laughs> a couple? We'll get back a couple, uh, couple spots. I think it'll be good. It's not that far off right now, so I, I think that'll be good. Plus, the stiffness is going to wear off from me. Th thank you for being here for him today and for driving the rig down and everything you did to make today possible, getting this Mako going. I really appreciate all your help, Billy. My, my pleasure. Your expertise really. and wisdom, you know. Oh, yeah, awesome. To have my hands on this beautiful Mako and, and to, see, to see the CR500 go, like, oh, my God. How'd it sound? This is heaven. Beautiful. Fantastic, Chris. <laughs> Crisp, crisp. I can't wait to see him out there on it. I can't either. And even the Mako, I mean, that's just, what a piece. Look at this thing. It is really a, really a cool piece of vintage it iron. It belongs in a museum. That, wait, that's, wait a that's an original gas tank on it, too, from what I heard. Everything's original, except the chain and a couple other odds and ends. Even the brake shoes are original. I think we need to call back, call up, and go get the square barrel one that we didn't pick up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I should grab that one, yeah. too. This is a real cool piece. Ripper. It's a ripper. Awesome. Well, stay tuned, folks. Next video is going to be out on the track. These boys are going to send it today. Bill, Billy, this is this is your. Um, tell, tell us about your bike. Billy, you bought you bought you bought this brand new, didn't you? No, I didn't. I bought it secondhand from the original owner. How many miles did they have on it? Uh, let me see how many are on it now. Now it's got 35. Uh, you have, you have, you have, you have another one that has more miles? Yeah, I do. I got one that's got 60,000 miles on it. This one had about 35. So Billy's got two of these. One has 60,000 miles. This one has 35. This is like the ultimate um, standard bike. And you can ride this all day long pretty much, right? Yeah, we rode the other one down to Daytona about 1,500 miles on the round trip. You know, coming back was 1,500, about 1,200 on the way down two days. 
chill on the back with her butt here and her feet this high up. She was folded up. Like uh, you guys are re like a real riders. You guys ride up uh, no matter what the conditions. That's awesome. Yeah, it was snowing on the way down. Nice classic. So if you see this on the road and it's got the 216, that's Billy. Tom Sardilli from Connecticut, uh, formerly Connecticut native, just pulled up and uh, he's on this 86. 86, Tom? CR250. CR250. You look good, brother. You look like you're 18 years old. <laughs> you're in good shape, man. How old are you, Tom? I am 57, brother. 57, and he's going to be out there setting it on this 250. Hey, babe. I'm going to take this 250 back. Can you, can you film me on it? What are you doing? Taking it for a ride? Hey, Billy. Billy, he said the jetting's a little, a little uh, rich on this. Is that something? What class are you riding, Pete? No class, baby. <laughs> I ride with no class, ever. Anything in my way gets stopped. <laughs> How'd it go out there? I know, I, I fucking stalled. I was like in second or third, and I stalled it. First first lap, but then I came back. Got somewhere around eight or nine. Awesome. It was cool. It was fun. That was sick, man. Hey Pete, I heard you uh, you and Andrew um, had a, quite a trip down here. Now I know the, the motor blew up on your truck because they, they put 
Yeah. What happened with your truck? So I got a 2019 F-350 all pimped out. We go to Wawa and fill it right to the top with beautiful Wawa diesel. And uh, we find out 15 miles an hour down the road it was Wawa iced tea because it was full of di their diesel tank was full of premium fuel. Smoked the motor on my F-350. So far the estimate's 19,000 to fix it. Um, we were going 100 miles an hour when the motor so, locked so up. So before before that happened, you, you and Andrew were, were right, right, southbound and ham southbound yeah, yeah. hammered down. Let's yeah. see let's see the, the, well, the let's yeah. see that picture you have. We, we were moving along pretty good. I mean that truck really runs nice. I think at one point on the way down in the morning, we got pulled over for 97. But our, uh, our did top you, did speed... You a, did you get a ticket? No, we didn't get a ticket. I, I smiled my way out. <laughs> but uh, our top speed was a little quicker than that. 131 and a 70. Yeah. <laughs> and that was, that was on our, uh, in our F-350 long bed. Eight, with, with two bikes in the back? Two bikes in the back. You know, it was set up. Yeah, they, those, these motocross bikes yeah. aren't really set up for 130 mile yeah. an hour wind tunnel. You know what's nice? You're, I think, you're lucky your radiator shrouds didn't fucking Well, they helped off. out with aerodynamics. Yeah. They helped truck yeah. and rocket. Yeah. It was mint, dude. It was cool, right? So now we're sporting this stupid little F-150. What's up, Garrett? How you doing, brother? Did you get Junior out there on the track yet? Uh, not yet. No? Cool. Been out there yet. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Dude, you see me saw it right in front of you? <laughs> Ted, what's happening? How you doing, big guy? Ted came up to hang out with us today. What are you riding today, Ted? I'm riding the 500, 525 Super Motard today. That's a K the KTM over here? Yes, sir. If you have some knobbies on this, you can go send it. I have knobbies in my trailer, and I have a 500, two, uh, 2015 fuel injected bike. KTM? Uh, for you to ride. Oh, awesome. And this was our passenger page for your little sweetie. There you go. I know you got a problem with the KLR. Yeah, we'll ride some wheelies on this bad boy for sure. It's a wheelie machine. That bike. I've had probably got 60,000 miles on it. I've changed full spark function. Wow. Very reliable. You can see it's been roosted. Well, we've got a beautiful day here. Stay tuned. We'll be out there on the track soon. Thanks for watching so far. Racers coming up. God bless America. I'm going to break this up into a couple of videos so it's not too long.